This video will walk you through the CA My Internet feature, focusing on firewall settings. Click on the My Internet card. On the My Internet interface, click on View Full Report. In the three categories of reports, we can find the number of blocked, outbound, or inbound attempts and untrusted sites that try to access personal information. You can click on Configure Settings to view or update the settings. We will go into the settings later. Now, back to Keep My Internet Safe main screen. Click on the globe icon at the bottom. Click on the Full Report button. Click on View Website History link. And here you can see the network traffic. You can also clear the log. Then click on Close. And click on Close again. Click on the drop-down arrow to see the common My Internet tasks. You can disable the firewall from here, and you can block all internet activity. Click on Clean Cache if you need to clean the cache. You can also go to the history from here. This consists of the various settings that we can set for CA Personal Firewall and CA Anti-Spam. Now click on View Settings. You can assign the network adapter installed in our computer to any of the appropriate zones or block access to all programs. All network components on your computer are monitored by the firewall during external communication. The firewall assigns your network components to stay within a firewall network for easy monitoring. Your network adapter that you use to connect to the internet or internet must be assigned to a firewall network as well for firewall monitoring. Home network for safe zone in older versions is recommended for a user who connects through a router or home network to the internet. Public network or restricted zone in older versions is recommended for a user who has a direct connection to the internet. Click on advanced settings. Click the Apply button. Move on to Network Rules. In this section, we can configure the CA Personal Firewall Rules. Network Rules help you allow or block network traffic in detail. Now, we're going to allow all network traffic for Internet Explorer. Type a name for the rule. Let's just specify Internet Explorer Program. Select Browse. Locate the program. Highlight the specific program to be added to the rule. Click the OK button. Under Choose the Access Level for this rule, select Allow if you want to allow access to the program. Select the option Just Log Any Occurrences for this rule. This would make sure the rule allows network traffic as specified, but does not alert you every time network traffic moves. Otherwise, you can also see Yes to be alerted. Click Next. Again, select a protocol and port. Select TCP, UDP, All from the drop-down box for this example. You can also specify the protocol. Select the direction as well. You can specify single port or range or all ports. And for the remote port as well. Click on Next. You can specify the IP address or range on the network to which this rule applies. Click Next. This is for a remote IP address. Click Next. Click on Close, and you would now have a rule created and enabled as displayed. You can edit it as well later on. Now click on Browser Protection. The green tick against the cookie control means this feature is enabled. By default, this is the only feature that is enabled in Browser Protection Settings. Click on Advanced Settings. Check or clear the boxes for cookie options you would like to control. A cookie, also called Internet Cookie, Browsing Cookie, and HTTP Cookie, is a small piece of information created by a website on your computer. A cookie contains one or more name-value pairs to remember your website information like preferences, login details, shopping cart contents, etc. The cookie is a good cookie if the cookie intends to use your information for processing your requested actions on the website. The cookie is a bad cookie 
if the cookie intends to steal your information for purposes you never requested. Click on Advanced Settings. Session cookies are the safest cookies. They are stored temporarily when you visit a website and will be destroyed when you close the website. Persistent cookies are safe cookies as well. However, these cookies are saved on your computer for reference when you visit the website in future. Many websites, like Yahoo Mail, would identify your username during your second visit. It is recommended to manually delete these cookies to prevent accumulation of cookie files. Deleting cookies improve browsing speeds. Also, deleting cookies prevents a possible exposure of information for stealth and misuse. If websites do not set a date for persistent and third-party cookies to expire, then this poses a threat to your privacy. Hence, set the maximum number of days within which a cookie has to expire. Once you configure this within the firewall, this expiration date will be applied to all cookies saved by websites on your computer. Your IP address, workstation name, login name, and any other personal information can be tracked with private headers. Web bugs are usually implemented as small invisible images on a website or email. They are used to track user activity, like page hits and content forwarding. Click on Hide Advanced Settings and let's move on to the next option. Ads and pop-ups can be blocked using pop-up blocker control. As a default, this feature is disabled. To enable it, click on the tick. Click on Advanced Settings. Banner ads are a form of advertising that embed advertisements into a web page. Skyscraper ads are a vertical banner ad that is significantly taller than 120 by 240. Pop-ups are a separate window that pops up when you visit a web page, and pop-unders are a pop-up ad that appears behind the web page window. Scroll down, mobile code control feature is also disabled as default. Mobile code is software downloaded from remote computers. When mobile code is downloaded as part of a web page, the code can interact to give intelligent results or could steal information with malicious intentions. Click on Advanced Settings. Check or clear the boxes for allowing different types of code on websites. Cache Cleaner option is also disabled by default. Click on Advanced Settings. Click on the tick button once to enable this feature. Put a check for the items you want Cache Cleaner to remove. To schedule Cache Cleaner, type a number greater than zero against Clean Cache Every. This ensures that an internet cache is automatically cleared out during regular intervals. You can clean the cache by clicking the Clean Cache Now, or select Clean Cache on Keep My Internet Safe main menu. Alternatively, you can right-click on the CA icon on the taskbar, then select My Internet, Clean Cache. Click on Close after the Cache Cleaner task is completed. The browser protection feature that comes with the firewall protects the privacy of your information on various websites. This feature controls websites with cookies, ads, pop-ups, and mobile code from stealing your information. However, if you trust a website like Hotmail and do not want some of the features to be blocked on the site, then you can add this website as an exception. Click on the Add button. Type the name of the website you want to add as an exception. You can also select a specific control for the site. Click the Apply button. Also type the below related website name. Type in login.live.com. Click on the Apply button. Select the ID Theft Protection sub-tab. Make sure that the ID Theft Protection level is set to On. Click on My Identity. Click the Add button to add new information. For each code or word you want to protect, add them one after the other and fill in information description. Drop down the category box and select the closest category your information will match. Let's choose Credit Card. Against Enter Information, type in the exact text you want to protect. Against Confirm Information, type in the exact text you want to protect once more. Leave the boxes for email and websites checked. This will protect your personal information when sent over emails or when typed in websites. For heavier protection, where your data cannot be reversed when found, 
Check the box for store information using one-way encryption. Click on Advanced Settings. Type in the website address and then click on Add. You can select the access type. If you click on Edit, you can edit the URL. Then click the Update button. Then click on Apply. Let's continue on to the Web Protection feature. To disable anti-spam, you can cross out the option. Click on Advanced Settings, and you can select Microsoft Office Outlook and Outlook Express, Windows Mail, to monitor. Anti-phishing known as Website Inspector previously. To disable it, you can click on the cross. Click on the History tab. This is to give information about the CA Personal Firewall history. You can block the access if you have to. Likewise, if an access has been blocked, you can allow it. Click Clear Log if you want to clear the network access history. Click on the Browser Protection History tab. This will list if there's access to the specific program or website monitored by browser protection. Now moving on to Identity Protection History. CA will log when there's an access to your specified information that has been added into the Identity Protection Program. Click on Closed. To disable the firewall or run the cache cleaner, right-click on the CA icon on the taskbar. Select My Internet and click Disable Firewall. Agree to the User Account Control Alert. You can enable the firewall as well. And from here you can clean the cache. Click on Close. Thank you.